Hi guys, how's it? It's your girl Cranky Gigarabo. I hope you're good, I hope you're peachy, I hope you're Stella, and I hope you're in a neat little bunch. Today is the 16th of November 2023. It is a Thursday. I hope you're having a good day. Whatever, if you're not, really join the party. I don't think I'm gonna be working out today again. When it rains, I don't work out like I am dictated by the weather. Uh, coupled with the fact that I feel like I need to get a lot off my chest. I'm going through a lot. And also, I don't know what in the world happened to my clothes that I work out in. My pants, I can't find them. Maybe I need to wash them or go in the house and look for them. So, I just the prospect of scrummaging around to find that is issue some for me. It's currently 1912. Um, not the year. Yeah. Okay, I'm trying to be jocose, whatever. The time, so it is highly unlikely that I'm going to exercise. Guys, I'm concerned about my my skincare regimen. I'm concerned, but I'm also not concerned. I am on shaky water at the present moment concerning everything. Um, shaky ground, not water. Water in and of itself is kind of shaky. Uh, I am on shaky atmospheres because I'm concerned like about what is going to be the end result of my my face i'm very worried i have prospered to conquer one minute and lo the heavens were open i i've prospered to conquer acne yes like it's gone um I, and i'm not getting new acne my skin is is so smooth it is so so smooth like it's just so beautiful to the touch and i'm happy about that um however this stuff is lightening my face like as in and i don't want that you know what i mean like i don't know what to do i like finally find something that is dealing with my acne and then the product goes on right ahead and makes me a yellow bone. Like, I don't want to be a yellow bone. Look at my face. Ooh, this is a bruise. How did I get that? I don't know. I'm always bashing into stuff. Look at my face compared to my arm. Like, it's unacceptable. It's entirely unacceptable. Like, the lightest parts of my body okay so i've got underarm hair guys like just deal i don't shave i don't have a reason to uh one day i will shave the lightest okay look i've got a bit of a, a white cast on my face because of my sunscreen you guys know that all right so that contributes a little bit but like a white cast sunscreen does not change your complexion or does it i don't know like this is the light like you know how your your wrist underneath here let me show you the side that doesn't have a scar tends to be the lightest part of your body and if my face is lighter than the lightest part of my body yo i'm becoming kang and i'm not feeling that i'm not feeling that i'm becoming kelly kumalo and i'm not trying to do that like i am not trying to do that Ooh, what happened here goodness gracious yeah um is this because the concentration of kojic acid is that high in like I'm, I'm i'm confused here like if i were to remove the sunscreen would i be darker would i would i i'm not prepared to experiment right now because i want to remove all the products on my face that are working you know the vitamin c and whatnot yeah okay look what are you looking at there are you looking at white cast sign sunscreen or are you looking at a changed complexion? What is the way to test this? Since I am eventually gonna go and take a shower, Moose, I'd have to go to the bathroom and grab, like, m wipes. Yeah, wipes. The wipes will remove the sunscreen. It's already night time. Let's test to see if we continue with this. Is this just white cast sunscreen flashing back at you like powder, makeup? You know how some makeup flashes back? Uh, or is this just an, like, unnecessary changing of my skin tone which i don't want i do not want that i want to be the same color all over my body that i was born with all right that i was born with uh 
like papa i know kojic acid is lightning but i guess once you've dealt with the hyperpigmentation you know like stop my hyperpigmentation is it's still fading it's not all gone i mean y'all can see it type establishment thing you know what i mean uh on this side it's doing such an excellent job amen yeah but like uh i'm not kanye Bao. i'm not doing it i'm not doing megan good stunts i'm not doing beyonce stunts i'm not doing kelly kumalo like <laughs> I believe that dark skin has an is, is an SPF on its own and it's beneficial later on for darker women like I just I don't want to lose that okay let me go to the bathroom and fetch my skin wipes and remove all this since I am eventually gonna shower in a couple of hours uh, it's just one day's worth of experimentation to see if if you know this is this is just a, a flashback because of the, the sunscreen or if this is me out here rolling around with the new skin tone one minute just for the sake of accuracy, we shall not be putting on app makeup in this particular video. Uh, one minute. Okay, let me just put my caveats out there. First and foremost, alright? Usually I put, I say that I'm wearing app makeup. I'm not today. I'm making a decision to go barefaced for the sake of this experiment. And uh, the second one would be my captions tend to be inaccurate in terms of spelling, the words that are used misquoting blah blah etc i don't have time to edit them but i like them they're cute they're gonna stay there plus sometimes they use a small g for god which i don't understand what's that what that's about um yeah i figured a way around my silence detector so we're good and so far i don't have a speech lag but should it come that's a thing with the phone that i'm using usually on cool days like today i don't really have that as an issue okay cool beans now let's just get into the experimentation these are aloe makeup wipes hallelujah cleansing wipes they can be used for makeup too. Contains natural herbal essences using natural spa water, oil-free cleansing towelettes. Whatever, just something that I found around in the his house. What's in here? They claim that it's like an aloe thing. You know, sometimes people out here lying about something being aloe. Water, glycerin, lorith 12, limnanthes, alba, seed oil, diozedineol, whatever, idopa. There is literally no aloe bar ben da da da, but this is claiming to be aloe vera cleansing wipes. You know, it's important to read ingredients sometimes. Whatever, they do nonetheless cleanse even though there's no real aloe in here. Like false advertising, what are you doing? Let's remove the makeup. There's no makeup on me. The other day I wore makeup, guys. I wore foundation to conceal this part of my face, which is like lightning beyond what I can take for crying out loud. Um, so I don't know how long it's gonna take for me to recover to bounce back, but I'm gonna have to stop using that product. I don't know if I should. Right now, I feel like I'm becoming a little bit of a Megan good. Um, out here trying to deny that she lightened her skin. Like, uh, no. At least Kangimba is not denying it. Kelukumalo, is she denying it or what? I don't know, but we're not doing it. Like, it, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. My black skin is an epic. Let's just put that out there. My dark skin, this is a mistake. I did not do it on purpose. That, however, gotta go. Don't know what in the world happened. Ish. Supposed to be bumping into everything, because everywhere I go, it's rough in life. I have started to also utilize this thing like I, I I took doctor's advice and I started moisturizing everywhere my neck and alice to make sure that sister girl sister girl right it's getting all her products on her neck too is is this area lightning beyond what I can take in my stride like proper am I lighter on my chest it's only been a few days I don't know mm? in comparison to my arms do you feel like I am too they are zen I don't want to be a yellow bone. I know that sometimes, you know, these products do lighten your skin just to even out your tone and bring it back to your natural skin tone. I, I don't want to go beyond natural. Like, anyway, enough chatter. Let's just get straight into this monstrosity. Doesn't even smell like yellow, but does yellow smell like anything? Let's remove the white car sunscreen to see if we are paranoid. I was not intending. Oh, I think we were paranoid. <laughs> Do you see the difference? <laughs> oh, I think it's the sunscreen. <laughs> I spoke too soon. <laughs> Look, and then sunscreen. Yeah, cause today even my mom was like, what in the world is lightening your skin? I don't want it. And I'm like, is it lightening my skin or is it evening out my skin tone? We don't know. This is still our barometer. You saw an immediate difference. 
when I swiped this monstrosity across my forehead. This is me wiping off the white car sunscreen. Yes, these sunscreens out here trying to make us look like Kelly Kumalo. Like, come on, relax. Like, what? Like, Papa Guy's like, look, I'm coming back. <laughs> Where was I? Where did I go? <laughs> ah, I'm coming back. It appears I'm returning home. Okay, so don't throw away the Omni Gold just yet. Don't throw it away just yet. I think maybe my sunscreen's the problem. <laughs> I'm going home. Gabuya Kaya. However, guys, like, please, let's just put this out there as well. Okay, I think, I think we're cool. Um, whoa, can the sunscreen be that white costy? My goodness, like, is this looking like the same? Am I looking normal? Am I looking normal? Am I looking normal yet on the forehead, forehead? Let's wipe the forehead first. Yo, sunscreen killing for my ones, huh? Eh, but my skin was dirty. Eh, yeah, my skin's so dirty. Eh. Okay, guys, so I'm two toned now. Cause, cause my forehead ain't got no more sunscreen on it. Oh. Hey, but the whole day be looking like a chas with a ghost something. Somebody please buy me sunscreen that's tinted. Hmm? Somebody give me sunscreen that does not give me white cast, guys, because this is just ridiculous. Hey, buy me sunscreen, man. Can you be so stingy? Ah, guys, I was actually about to drop a product that is probably working on my acne because I'm thinking it's, it's making me look like Kanye Bao. I don't want to look like Kanye. I don't want to look like Kanye. Am I returning, guys? Am I coming back? Am I coming back? Nyabuya, nyabuya, nyabuya. Am I coming back? Am I coming back? Am I coming back, yo? Am I coming back? Nyabuya, sir. Am I? Am I coming back? Wasn't it like a little bit then? I don't wanna be yellow. Otherwise, we're stopping this product, guys. We're just gonna stop it. I. Mm -mm. Cause not but I don't wanna be light. I don't wanna lighten my complexion. I spent my life sad about my complexion because of black culture, black people out here making you feel uneasy about having dark skin and i conquered i overcame i got to a pinnacle of a mountain top and i was like oh my black skin's great and then after all that hard work on self like therapying myself from colorism let's wipe it off the neck too because I put the sunscreen on my neck like and my, my chest, like the beginning part of my chest. I know I should probably put it all over my body, but I don't have money to afford body-wide sunscreen. It's just on my face. Am I back to... Ooh, but now my face is dry. What are we gonna moisturize the face with now that it's so dry? Why is my face so dry? And uh, oh girl, don't waste these wipes and Jeffella just cause you can. There was a day when I wore foundation, y'all, because I was like, hey, multi-tone, multi-tone, multi-tone. Mm -mm. I I was like, until such time that I can get um a situation eradicated, you know what I'm saying? Like no I'm saying, no I'm saying, I'm saying until such time that this thing evens me out everywhere. I will wear foundation because I'm sick and tired of looking all patchy. Oh, patch. It ain't cute, that patchiness. It ain't cute. But then when I started to look like I am a yellow bone, I was like, nah, that's something else altogether. That's not skin evening out. That's just new tone. That's demelification or demelination. That's colorism getting to you until you are just in these streets trying to be white, trying to be anything other than what your mama made you to be. Like, nah. Okay, guys, did we do that? Look, I'm not wearing makeup, so there's really no need for me to be wiping so hard knock on my face right now. Get dry, get dry. I feel like the sunscreen is off, huh? I am feeling the sunscreen, something. There is no sunscreen anymore. There is no sunscreen anymore. There is no sunscreen anymore, any, anymore. And do you see? Oh, maybe on the neck. Ah, uh, do you see? Now that's all the vitamin C gone to. Everything's just gone now. Just a dry lady now, dry lady. I don't wanna be a dry lady. Who wants to be a dry lady? Eh? Do you wanna be a dry lady? Do you know who stays a dry lady? All of y'all with your magic wands. That makes you a dry lady. Witches, 
You are dry, ladies. Drier than dry. Get off all that more facial tissues, qua. Come around. So I'm busy tearing this one up into two. I don't wanna be no dry lady. Sorry, I blew my nose in front of you. Okay, guys. Uh, it looks like the dry lady. I probably does not have much to worry about. Guys, look at my facial exercises. Okay, so let's like try to ignore. The fact that uh, I was starting to look like a yellow bone there for a minute and talk about how round my face is now, hey? It's all my facial exercises. Mm, 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 mm. They're working. Okay, let's come do say. I don't know what to do. My face is dry, guys. I need to go and put some on this dry face. I can't just carry on being a dry lady. I just can't do it. I can't do it. My face is too dry. Let me put just a little bit of moisturizer on. Cause who in the world does so much dry in a day? It's too much dry for one day. Too much. One minute. I'm torn between this Nevaseline. If Vaseline is non-comedogenic. My mom wants to just throw by Vaseline and change. Hello. What? One minute. I guess yes. I don't know what to do. Okay, guys, all right. Let me come to say and show you what in the world I was talking about. Concern. Concern, you know? Look at what this, this like kojic acid infused cream is doing to my face. Let me say to my face and for my face. For you, uh, I will. It's doing it to my face, in other words, it's just wrong. But also for my face, in that it's all right. Okay, look at what it's doing first for my face. Huh? Remember that acne that I was at you crying and crying and crying and I was like, guys, I'm mourning. <gasps> there are tears in my eyes. I got tears. Look at how sister girl has no more acne, no more active acne. My face is dry, so dry. Ugh. Let's moisturize first, hmm? Before we come in with them beige, you met the dry skin sensing. I've decided to use my day cream, even though it's night. Really and truly, all this dryness, it can't, no more. I'm not doing it. Oh, yes, already I feel moisture power. Ooh, it's working. It's working. It's just working. It's working to give me nourishment. Ah, it's like drinking. That's my skin. And then it burps. And then goes in for a second round. Ooh, look at the moisture. It's moisturously dangerous. Ooh. Hey. I wish you know I could just apply moisture jam. And that'd be it. Like, that's it. No need to be extreme. No need to be harsh and intense. Yeah, but hey, Chanzu says seven layers. Just because you got acne. Or just because you don't want to age like a prune. Whatever happened to the good old-fashioned days of Vaseline? Bah! That's it. You know, good to go. Everybody's nice and glowing. Eh? Eh? Come on, I'm my life. When Vaseline is all you need. Vaseline blue seal. Vase, vase, Vaseline blue seal. Mm. Whatever happens, guys, I, I dab Vaseline on my face every day, every day. I just like it because me, I don't like dry face, you know? Because then next thing you like, the money and the money was wrong, stretching. You know, South Africans will come at you with a flying kick. Anyway, guys, yes, and then I don't know how to lay edges. At this point in my life, we just grab a comb and we take our nappy hair and we do that and pretend it's edges and then we're like boom look at us with latent edges okay let's come do this now that i've moisturized i feel better there's no white cast anymore okay mm. toast the vaseline what else am i gonna put on my lips let me give myself a little bit of a cherry blossom cherry 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 yellow bello no bello yeah blackberry shine blackberry shine I'm eventually gonna get to the point. I'm always getting to points, but first I was concerned about the fizz eye. Why is the eyelash coming into the eye? Come on, stay at bay. Mm, all right, let's come do the baby. Come do the baby. Come do the baby. Baby, 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 
baby, baby, baby. Come to the baby. Chonga na pa guys, me na mto kuba fix it. It has this stuff. Oh goodness, guys! Like what? It has dealt with my pitted scarring as well. It dealt with what I imagine to be permanent scarring for acne. How are you gonna ditch a product like that? But like, I don't wanna be a yellow bone. I don't wanna be a yellow bone. I don't wanna be yellow, yellow, yellow. I don't wanna be yellow. Uh, the Lord made the world like a rainbow. Yellow's not the only color. And I like, relax. Okay, cool. I mean, love you guys. It's all hey. Look at how it's clear that I can don't live like people do. So I don't have any more acne ears, guys. I've hidden my septum piercing. Can you see it? Now you like real you just come from. It's gonna leave one of these days. You want me to leave it there? I'm not I'm not sure if I wanna get rid of it like permanently or what. So it's just kinda like hanging out in my nose. Like it's just there. It's like, oh like a bear. I'm still there. I'm confused, I don't know whether to go I'm hanging out And I'm not sure if I wanna stay or go mm. It's chilling there like a bear, making like a flower But of course the other one is gone because it does not go in my nose this one goes, goes, and every so often it even creates a nose job, guys. I promise you, like, look, right? Gavne. Stuff the septum back in the nose. Ow. Sometimes it hurts, sometimes it doesn't, depending on how rough you are with your activity. So there's my normal nose, okay? There's my original nose. Hi, guys, how are you doing? This is my original nose. And then if you want like a septum induced rhinoplasty, like don't you move. Look at the nose, it's different, don't you agree? Come on, it is a different nose. Look, I got a sharper nose over there. That's what's good. Mm. I brought the septum down and it pushed my nose out, you guys. And I got like a free rhinoplasty. That's what's good. Mm. Bonang, look, this is the original nose. This is the nose that my mama gave me. This is the news that my mama gave me. This is the news that my mama and my papa and my mama and my papa gave me. But this is the nose that the septum piercing gave me. This is the nose that the septum piercing gave me. This is the nose that the septum that the piercing that the septum see. There's a difference. Anyway, whatever. I don't really care for. I don't care about the the rhinoplasty because really my normal nose, my natural nose, is not so bad. Uh, yeah, this thing is still there. I'm probably gonna get rid of it. I am cuz I'm liking my like face bare more and more these days So, uh, but while I was busy doing all this you guys got to see that it's still in my nose So I decided that let me bring it out for a sneak peek, but I am highly unlikely going to keep it I'm gonna get rid of it cuz it's time. It's gotta go But I'm not sure and until such time that my mind is made up Ugh it's gonna stick around on the inside of my nizine. Uh, yeah, there it's nicely buried. If it was up there, I wouldn't have even had to say anything. Anyway, guys, yeah, okay, so my hand have been in, my hands have been in and out of my nose. I'll wash them later. Goodness. Look at my skin. Like, nothing. Goodness, guys. Something finally cleared me. Hmm? I've got hyperpigmentation that is fading. You can see. It's fading. It's fading, you guys. Look at what's going on with my tooth over here. Hmm? It's making like a tectonic like tectonic plate so moving away and away and away even here my tooth is broken that's what what almost a decade of persecution will do i would have gone to the orthodontist straight away on some luck i'm getting a gap and he would have just closed it but i'm poor so it stays thankfully it's not so heavy and hard knock it's highly unlikely gonna move any further but the first thing i'm doing the moment i start making money is fixing that uh, anyway, uh, it's supposed to be a canine like that one, but I bit into something too hard and now it's all grooved in. But it doesn't show. That's what poverty does to a person. Neglect and abandonment. Anyway, on this side, it is especially rough, my life. This side is especially rough, but the hyperpigmentation is fading. I, however, need to make a decision if I'm going to stop using this kojic acid and just let the process continue to finish on its own due to this stuff over here. Like, look at this, like, different color lana in there, here and there, here and there. And even now, here at the beginning of my lip, um, 
this side as well seems to be blending in uh, but I don't know if it's gonna continue to blend in or if this is gonna continue to get lighter in which case I have to stop using this product but it will have started um, me off like on a journey it will have like commenced it if you know what I mean mm, it will have faded my hyperpigmentation quite fast at first but it had to go it however has really smoothed out my skin and I don't have acne because of that product so I don't know what's gonna happen when I stop using it because I'm acne prone I'm acne prone. Look underneath my chin. Hmm? I mean, guys, if you if you saw the acne underneath my chin once upon a time, you would know what a massive improvement there has been over there. You would know. I come from some pretty hard days. So, uh, I don't know what to do. My face looks more or less okay when I look in the mirror. I don't look like I've been made a yellow bone, but I'm scared that this thing might just continue to, like, get made me lighter and lighter. And we don't want that. That's what I look like. All of me. Hi. Let's do that comparison. And it's still there. Don't you think it's still there? Like, I'm too light on my face. I'm making a decision. Gavel is being dropped. Gah. Today, I'm gonna stop using it. I can't. Like, this thing is not gonna stop lightening me. It's not gonna stop lightening me. It boosted me. It gave me a push to move hyperpigmentation away. It flattened my pitted scarring. It basically dealt with all my acne issues, but it can't stay. Um, maybe I could use it like once a month, once a week for like a quick peel or whatever. But it's not something that I should be like just in depth and like just constantly using. I can't. Maybe once, like I said, once a month. Maybe even once a week. Nah, once a month. Just in general, if, if at all I just feel like I need like an exfoliation, a quick exfoliation, I can use it. But um, constant daily use of it, it's made me... It's made me Kelly Kumalo just on the face though. Ain't nobody trying to be Kelly on the face. And like give me a dark dindy celebrity out there in these streets that's not trying to charcoal and and subi boy on the body. Subi mo milling, Kelly mo hong. Not gonna work. Like mm mm. Don't know what it's gonna take to restore me. I thought it was the white cast sunscreen, but even with the white cast gone, I'm still lighter on my face clearly than my arm. And that for me is my cue to leave. It's my cue to go. It's my cue to stop. I never intended for this to be the case. Yeah. I got one more so we're gonna stop using that product and cross our fingers and hope to die except not cross our fingers that what other interventions i'm using will still work it's not the only thing that i brought into my skincare regimen i did bring a uh, cell tone spot control that moisturizer in so we'll have to see if that spot control moisturizer keeps me at bay if it does then yes we've got uh, clearing acne without the side effects of being made a yellow bone against your will that's what's good uh, I'm a yellow bone now, I'm not feeling it, I'm sorry. I kill it as a dog girl, like, I've been killing it as a dog girl all my days. I've been a dog girl, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, like, proper. Yeah, a lot of these women, like, with Megan Good, it wasn't broken, she tried to fix it. And also did away with some SPF, some natural SPF off her body. I need my SPF. My natural SPF, I want it. Yo, Marazzi, this acne, it's not acne, it's dark spots. Ugh, they'll fade with time and I'll start to look better and better. This thing did, however, fast track the process, you cannot lie. You cannot deny that much. Now that we have said that and have made a decision to stop using our product, let's just hope that I'm not gonna get new acne. If I get new acne, oh, it's a journey yet again. Starting from scratch, looking for something that's gonna deal with my acne. Again, I'm just so exhausted. I'm fed up, as you guys. Yo, and let's just hope that for the best. Plus, I am taking Blemimetics, so let's hope that that is doing something for me hormonally. I never got any new acne around my period. Like, <laughs> I just, like, I'm, I'm getting off my period. Like, today or tomorrow is my last day. And, um, I didn't get new acne. That's what this stuff has done for me. How can you be so powerful to eradicate my life issues and then make me kill a kumalo? Like, how is that even okay? Eish. Yeah, well, I can't continue on Kelly. Like, I'm gonna have to find another thing. Uh, yeah. As for you ladies out in these streets trying to go and buy this product so you can lighten your skin, uh, you're gonna have to buy enough to put on your body because then you're gonna have two different tones and you're also gonna have to go to therapy to like help you overcome your issue with your skin tone. At some point you're gonna be ugogo, okay? Like beauty fades.
not only that now i don't want to keep using something on my body in order to keep myself looking a particular way and never be able to take a break from it because life happens y'all life happens people lose jobs people get enter into poverty imagine if kangimba were to lose every last cent in her bank account she'd go back to her skin tone and hate looking in the mirror same thing is true of kelly kumal if she lost every cent in her bank account she would have to like basically embrace the fact that she was born in dark dindi and abantwana baake her children will always reflect what it is that she truly is do you understand what i'm saying so if you can't maintain it for the rest of your days, don't do it. Like just don't. If it's just like putting yourself together with sticky tape, if it's patchwork like that, can sebe tsi, love what God gave you. It's not like exercise proper. Like you can still work out when you're poor. You can still jog around the streets if you can't get gym membership, but you can't continue to buy skin lightening creams when you're poor. Like what if you get broke, yo? Or what if they discontinue that product and next thing you like out you're going all dark in complexion again just accept who you is but anyway this is not even a conversation about that uh i've made a decision to stop using that product right here live in front of you guys cuz like not okay not kosher i get muswewu i've never been muswewu like it's my signature to be a dark dindi so yeah praise god why am i so ashy looking it's cuz all those layers they get it hasang are not on my face anymore but i'm going to go and take a shower it's in khal all right you guys like you know what i'm going through a lot like right now that was i guess um what do you call it an ice breaker i'm under attack by so many death spells it's not even funny hey, hey like eh i'll go say this let me save content because i keep losing my content my content saved yesterday i lost so much footage i was so irritated anyway whatever um what i want to say death spells like they're all up in my grill i'm so miserable i know that i have to conquer i have to fight i have to strive i have to push past it i have to keep on keep 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 on keeping on until i eventually break through on the other side but the persistence yo yeah ne as the ill gotten gain ofuna to want to kill a person only because you have destroyed yourself yeah ne that's just the story of the lives of labatagati i am inebriated with sorrow like inebriated i am exhausted beyond anything i can even fathom to talk about I'm not exhausted. Goodness, like exhaustion is you've expanded yourself and now you're tired. It's just demonic attack. It's just exquisitely abusive and it's coming from so many different angles. Last night I uh, yesterday I spoke about the beast in America. Like I said, we are waiting for him to pass away. There's really nothing left for that guy to do except die. And until such time that he dies, I guess I got to strengthen myself to deal with however many blows he might send my way. One thing that is important is that I must never capitulate to what they intend to do to my life. I can never ever do anything that they want me to do. So suicide ideation when they send me depression, it gets looked at like roll your eyes. But even if you might roll your eyes, it still does induce real macabre. It does induce real melancholy. It does induce real depression, real feelings of listlessness and just despair. For real. Mm. And with it being as real as it is, real as it is. Uh, you got to make a real battle with it. Yeah. As in real tactic to survive i even said i was not gonna work out because it's raining it appears to have stopped raining outside i can't hear the dribbles anymore of water the droplets so i might go anyway even though my whole body's inebriated i also don't know where my clothes are at like what are we gonna do that's why yesterday i wore those torn jeans and some shorts on top of it i don't know we'll see i'll work out i'll push you know and deal with however long this macabre lingers in my body until it just breaks off me thank god i'm in the middle of a fast so such things are overcome i had i was woken up this morning by criminals criminals oh these criminals they try to make me die criminals come on Cari pozzo, Christmas e ferile, che manca!
care pozzozo Christmas is very Ooh, wow bye bye di pozzozo okay listen I woke up uh, to understand a whole bunch of men um I get on the killings ha di 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 I've been exposing you with your occult secret society here in South Africa dwelling in KwaZulu Natal having branched out to the other provinces you keep a mass weapon I'm up on a win tell my god I'm quite even though you're men tell I'm cute was in yeah and now you have made this determination my melan guys it's funny let's talk and let's have a conversation about this yeah Logu sanga na no good agua Ogunga ga eh Gupu ma we Aningi jeleni How are you gonna be so drunk Every single day How are you even able to concentrate Every single day On whatever it is that you do every day how you gonna stay so drunk? Uh, how you gonna be able to take care of your babies when you're so drunk every single day? Uh, every day, every day. It's you in the bottle, Gaga. Uh, except instead of it being the bottle, it is your magic wand. I seek you, Tower Mo, Lord. Hey, Lavandu Vatanda Ipuza. Oh, how they love Ipuza. Oh, how they adore Ipuza. Vanwe Levata Ueye. Janu, now that they are drunk, they're trying to make everybody else drunk in the room with affliction. I get it tight, so tow, I'm a towy. No, I'm not the type to get drunk, drunk cards. Hey, I can tell you, Nagangani, I don't drink, I don't touch it. I'm always sober, vigilant, being about my daddy's business. Hey, I am a sober lady. I stopped drinking even before I came to Christ. And because I saw there's no value in these beverages, there is no value in it at all. I ditched the booze, but you. Eh, hey, I miss our poos in your teller like no man's business in the occult. Mm. Yeah. I seek you home, I'm all. Hey. Into egwians you saw in nonsense. You are drunk, you are drunk And high off the supply of other people's glory No man got Telly, my ex-boyfriend, he has stopped drinking too God dwang I'm Sanjay, he's a drunk Because these days Lynn was such a Salan Pusi Chibuku called witchcraft. And so because you're barely ever sober, you thoroughly think that you got some moment. Can one number in and so I don't capitulate to the clary. Marilyn Downway, so when you're drunk, you push cause your inhibitions run dry when you're drunk. Ain't nothing blocking you, ain't nothing stopping you, nothing is saying ho oh, abuti oh. You is a killer, a stealer, an obliterator. All you can do is mess and situation up. And then I might say, well, listen to these randos who came. Banna, I kill rat. Is that basic? You make no sense. I don't like you. And I said banna. Yeah, I did. I said that because I'm thoroughly addressing black men. Yeah, you're the only ones that know what the word banna means at this point. Mm. I don't like you, black men. I, I don't. Let me just put that out there. I'm not out here dealing with every guy on the planet. It's just you. Just you. Mm. It's about time somebody stood out here in these streets and spoke their minds about the ludicrousness of black men.
yeah no everybody is trying to tiptoe around you black men that's what's good because you're so sensitive about everybody being so mean to you everywhere oh the police don't like me oh everybody thinks i'm a criminal oh everybody's giving me grief oh if you know shut up shut up just shut up shut up shut up just shut up shut up oh, 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 oh. You've made it such that nobody can complain against what under heaven it is that you are. By raising all the other injustices about your particular life and not so much everything else that you're doing that's nasty. I'm gonna save this because I don't know how much I've saved. Okay, thank goodness I was able to save that content all of it saved but when i get like a glitch and a twitch i start to worry that i might lose footage yesterday i lost so much footage anyway black men please let's talk i started out all besotted with you i was beside myself with adoration with you i could do nothing but a black man ain't nobody gonna be able to tell me nothing about a black man like proper i remember once telling my girls when we were discussing whether or not we date outside of the race and i said to them that i couldn't because literally once you go black you don't go back i'd never been anywhere else all i knew is that i was right at home where it is that i was born i loved me some black guys who does not like them they look so good but after they have walked in a predictability a typicality for like years on end trust me everybody else starts to look hella handsome everybody else starts to look more feasible everybody else is less scary everybody else is less likely to afflict you like when you go out of your way okay to literally start a whole secret society from the ground just to subdue women to the tyranny of your iron fist on that day you deserve as an entire conglomerate to be abandoned mm black men the whole entire planet has that started to like walk around you on tippy toes on eggshells or whatever along the lines of oh my goodness don't hurt the black man because the black man is just so hurt oh my goodness don't break the black man because the black man is just so broken stop accusing the black man because the black man is tired of being accused but i mean goodness gracious when you are the culprit you are in dire need of being indicted you're in dire need of being put in a jumpsuit that is orange otherwise known as prison dungarees you deserve it okay you seem to forget one other demographic that exists on this earth that is more abused than you. It's the black woman. Yeah. Ain't nobody out here rioting on our behalf, yet we are busy rioting on your behalf. Just because you were busy getting arrested all over the show for doing nothing but just drive. Just because everybody clutches their purses when you walk by, you were like, how dare you call our men thieves? Come on, not every black guy is nasty. Mm that's what we did we went to war on your behalf because everybody was mean to you and on the day when you we commenced a war on your behalf black men mm. in other words black women yeah uh and other black men and other empathizing non-blacks when they went to war on your behalf my oh my how some of y'all then decided to wear this whole victim status 24 hours a day capitalize on it drain it that you might get away with a lot more murder mm. you went out there under heaven after everybody saw that not every one of you was bad and you dated white women you dated indian women you dated whatever might be anything other than black girls all right because now everybody loved you and then you continued to subjugate to the tyranny of your incredible insensitivity against women in white women now too in non-black women now too and now too they also have a testimony about how you just don't freaking make sense so i mean when you out here saying of black women that y'all don't like us dating white girls y'all don't like us being with them colored ladies um some of us don't really care what you date however some of us have been privy to recognize or understand the experience of even these white women that you are with that even when you're with them nothing changes you're still kind of abusive you're still kind of passive aggressive you're still full of reverse psychology you're still full of withholding affection you are just now doing it to a white girl that's shocked out of her mind that a man can be like this towards her 
So now it's not that black girls don't like you dating white women, it's that black girls don't like the fact that you have been using us as an excuse for why you're so cold, why you're so mean. Because now we've got supporting evidence all across other races who upon marrying black men are like, what's going on? You're beating them black and blue. You're giving them reverse psychology, you're passing them shade. You are the same misogynist that you always have been. But you see, the thing about black women, black men, let me just put that out there, mm, is that we've been endured through the tyranny of your insanity pretty much all of our history. Yeah. So when you afflict a person for long enough, when you put a person through a bad blow for long enough, yeah, uh, they then start to come up with a coping mechanism against whatever under heaven you are yeah they come up with a coping mechanism and that coping mechanism is to callous themselves expect less and less from you and also be a lot more full of whining complaining screaming yelling and so therefore producing what would be the loud angry black woman the loud angry black woman is a response of years do you understand like of attrition just like you know squeezing us into a corner until we finally screamed and then developed this calloused outward constitution where we in and of ourselves are kind of aloof we don't care we don't take care of our babies we are always just too mad at these boys and every time we date a brand spanking new one they do the same thing over and over and over and over again so the angry black woman which is a gray in a typicality among black women is a byproduct of mistreatment by black men and after you calloused the living daylights out of us to a point of being insufferable that's what's good right you then went and gravitated away from us and, and magnified your 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 proliferance your your buttocks spread it like nice and thick in the white community the latina community the spanish community the colored community the indian community you went and you grabbed all of these non-black chiquitas mm. And you started to do nonsense among them but you see the thing about these community of females is that they are yet to be so calloused by your rubbish because a lot of them are still dating their own men or men other than black men so there is not enough data to support or substantiate what black men do to women given that there aren't enough white women prepared to come forward with the evidence first and foremost and also there aren't enough of them dating black men for it to be evident or clear unless they're prepared to like say me 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 too garabo Mm, that black men you just destroy everywhere you go you literally shatter everywhere you go everywhere you go there aren't enough white girls prepared to come and tell the story because of the fact that the moment a white girl rocks up and complains about a black man herein lies the unfortunate deal other black women are gonna be like yeah it's because you stole our men so instead of gathering data in this little hypothesis they're busy basically spitting on white girls shoes for stealing their men honey like proper they had to go like good riddance it's that basic okay and again if a white chick also complains about a black man she might then just be called racist or something dumb like that so a lot of them are scared to come forward and i'm not just speaking about white women but non-black women they're scared to come forward because ain't nobody gonna have mercy on them when a black man giving them grief because they're gonna be like why did you take our men in the first place and secondly they might just get accused of racism but their experiences with black men my oh my if at all any of them were to be prepared to anonymously cast their back as to how they have experienced marriage or dating a black guy they would likely share the same same qualms as black women only difference would be that they have not been so maddened by the black man that they would become an angry white woman or an angry Indian woman or whatever they have not gone through just black guys all throughout their lives they've been with white men they've been with other races of men and so therefore they don't have a, 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 a constant repetitive rep repetitive post-traumatic stress they don't have a constant repetitive post-traumatic stress where they're always doing the same damn thing over and over and over and over and over again the white girl has been with five white guys and then one black guy and then one uh, and then white guys after that that's the white girl so she has not been endured through just a constance of insanity by moving from one to the other to the other to the other to the other unless she's a kind of white girl that only dates black men then she might just end up an angry white woman yeah 
you've got a typical green black man you are destructive everywhere you go and because you have been so saddened all over the show everybody has stood for you in order to get you reprieved relieved of whatever under heaven it is that everybody accuses you of having done here on earth and all that support has made you even more namby pamby all that support has made you even more entitled all that support has made even those people who call you out for what exactly it is that you have done to have to wear body cameras they have got to get all different kinds of evidence footage they have got to record literally so much exculpatory evidence against you before you will justifiably face prosecution as you deserve you have refused to change you have refused to love your women you have insisted on misogynizing the entire community you have done the most do you understand you have spread yourself thin all over the show and in continuing to wear diapers insisted that your women always be the ones to dress your wounds how under heaven you always come back after you have loitered these streets with all of your insanity to black girls you want us to wipe the blood from out of your nose after you've gotten yourself punched you want us to wipe your buttocks after you've soiled your own diapers you want us but not first not first before disrespecting us manhandling us treating us like we are trash and also the worst thing with black men is that the way that they so have no regard for women when they are with each other that is especially astronomically disheartening yeah your man might be kind and sweet to you when it's just the two of you but the moment he gets with his boys you can stank the disrespect in the sky you can smell it you can tell that he is acting in front of his boys having no regard for how it's making you feel in that moment there is no such thing as exalting a woman to the status of a queen you will feel in a five six seven year relationship with a man like a side piece when he is in the presence of his boys he will treat you like second best stuff of like scum underneath your shoes just so he can look like this woman is following me around like she's begging Wangeng. yeah she's all up in my head my beck and call but when it's just the two of y'all in private he's sweet he's doting he's loving so basically what i'm trying to explain is that black men love to treat their women like they're nothing and to basically proliferate an agenda amidst themselves pontificate an ideology that a woman is to be just merely existent in the ecosystem she is to say nothing she is no one she is to be disregarded there's not much about her to elevate to a point therefore of essentially really very thickly respecting her in the presence of your boys there is no treating your woman like a queen when men are around in the black community it's just a thing you have to wait to be alone with your man before he will give you what you need in treatment he is hiding that he has chivalry um, away from his boys he is hiding that he buys flowers away from his boys he is hiding the fact that he actually really digs you when his boys are around he hides that he will do anything for you when the two of you are together in front of his boys and this is an order that men might not call him a wuss or whipped or whatever and very rarely do black men resist this very rarely do they resist mistreating their girlfriends in front of friends so you never really know where you stand with a man in the beginning of a relationship a black man he will tell you the world he might even introduce you to his parents but around his boys you will still feel like uh, some side piece that tomorrow somebody else is going to be molu kwapening lachach somebody else is going to be in his armpit so i mean really if at all that's how black men treat women black women um no it's okay i don't like you black men anymore because i grew up naive with my head in the sky proper imaginative that one day i will find love i will be adored and then when i turned to christ i thought that maybe praying about it will help yeah that it'll bring along the kind of black man that's been refined by jesus and all i've ever met are monsters i'm sorry literally this is ubiquitous you all mistreat women especially in each other's presence you can't do nothing but talk bad about us and when you speak badly about us amidst each other it just intensifies your propensity towards mistreating the woman in question it makes it worse it just subjugates this woman to the tyranny of your pendulous state left to right on and off on and off until she sees a trend that oh it's cuz when he's with these boys he gotta act cool i guess i'll have him to myself later when we spend like hours on end together watching movies that's the only time he will truly be himself and loving you he will never allow himself to do that in front of his friends last time i checked according to the bible a man must leave his mother a woman must leave and a woman a man and a woman they must leave their mother and father's house cleave to their spouses and the two become one flesh so if a man cannot love you in front of his friends 
he has cleaved not to you he has cleaved to his boys so your little man cave that makes it very hard for you to respect women in the room i can't no i'm sorry it's made me write off black men because even the ones that have not been tarnished it's only a matter of time before they get recruited i had an ex-boyfriend that was good to me in front of these boys and in public and as the relationship progressed he was good to me only in private but in front of these boys i was being treated like something jefela quick quick what are you doing why are you treating me like this and then when it's just the two of us he will then say sorry my ex-boyfriend once like neglected to say anything to some friend of his that didn't even know me when i was at a party with him a little bit tipsy on some alcohol and i met this friend my ex had lots of friends and when i saw him greeting my my ex i happily and excitedly said to him hi how are you and he looked at me looked at my boyfriend and was like he looked at me did not greet back when i greeted him looked at my ex and said yo she's drunk you're clearly gonna get some tonight and he said that audibly with me there listening and i stood there frozen like an icicle waiting for my ex to be like i and don't call me ganja long in medium and my ex was just like come on stop dropping jokes really it caused me to leave it caused me to throw my toys out the cot i was drunk my ex was sober at the time we both had driver's licenses we were using my vehicle because i was so mad i insisted on driving because i didn't want him touching my car and it was raining that night and we hit i hit a puddle of water and it caused the car to spin three times and if it was not for some pole that stopped the car it would have toppled over when it like met with the pavement i was drunk he was sober he was licensed i nearly killed both of us because of that i was so angry because of my ex's indiscretion that i nearly got us killed in a car accident where i insisted on driving my car since it was my car given that he had no regard for me so he i'm gonna drive my car whether or not i'm drunk and i nearly killed us that that so basically like he produced an angry black woman that nearly sent him to the grave in a car accident and he could not see how that even started did not see the beginning point of that travesty nothing of that nature in the run-up to us leaving because i was yelling and screaming and throwing my toys out the cot as we were leaving the club the party place whatever some other dude by the bathrooms as we were passing by them was like Kulega boy uh i'm sorry and my ex was like thank you in other words calm down i'm sorry for your ranting b word and my ex said thank you so two whammies in one night it made me so mad that's men in the black community when a woman is crying there's never a concern to knock on the door to ask why are you crying what is throwing your toys out the cot why are you mad no root cause analysis just an assumption that oh she's they're at it again these angry black women when a man calls your woman a whore in front of you that you're going to ram into at the end of the night after you get her nice and tipsy on booze that you bought her all night long when a man accuses your woman of being that thing and you don't stand well when your man accuses your his woman when some other man accuses your woman of that and you don't stand against this brother and at least rebuke him even if it's with you know gentleness yeah what the heck is a woman doing hanging out in that situation next part